Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create a sunburst effect in Photoshop. So you get started, we're going to create a new document that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels and then click OK. Once we have that, we're going to go down to our custom shape tool, which is right here. And if you don't see that, you can hold down on this and go down to custom shape tool. And this is going to give us the basis for our sunburst effect. So you need to click on this little tab right here and just scroll down and here are all the shapes that Photoshop offers you to use and we're looking for kind of a spiky um, flowerish kind of looking thing um, it's this one right here so you'll see it um, it's kind of next to this little light bulb which is kind of a little landmark for you um, so once you have that selected you need to hold shift and just drag that out on stage and I have a orange selected for the color on this so now that we have that I'm going to go up to select all and we're going to center this shape in the stage. So I'm going to click right here, which is going to uh, align the vertical center, and then this one, which is going to do the horizontal. So now you can see that it's right in the middle of the stage, and um, we're ready to go. So what we need to do next is size this up a little bit. So I'm going to hold Shift and Alt so that it ensures that this shape doesn't move from the center of our document. And we're just going to drag the corner up. Then you can click the check mark to save the changes there. And the next thing we need to do is we need to change the actual points of this shape. So to do that, we're going to need the direct selection tool. And it's right here. And if you see the little black one, that's the wrong one. That's the path selection tool. So you want to make sure you have direct selection tool. And then just click somewhere on the shape, just on the edge somewhere. So now you should see all the different points that make up that shape. And what we're going to do is take and drag over all of the middle points. And we want just the middle points so that um, we don't have any of these outside ones. And now once we have that, we're going to go to Edit, and then Free Transform Points. And now what that's going to allow us to do is actually move these points around. So I'm going to zoom out by holding Alt and then using my uh, scroll wheel on my mouse. And then we're again just going to hold Shift and Alt so that we don't mess up um, where these points are in relation to the center. And we're just going to size these in, and we just want it to go all the way to the center before it starts actually moving out. So you can go... Okay, you can see it started to move back out. So we want it to just move all the way down um, before it starts to reverse itself, basically. So now that we have that done, we'll click uh, check mark right here. And now we're ready to actually start sizing this shape up some more. So we're going to grab our move tool here. And we don't need all this selected, so I'll just click off of that. And we can just hold Shift and Alt again and just keep scaling this up. And I'm just going to hold Alt and zoom out and just hold shift and alt, just keep going. And you can see that instead of having rounded edges, because we've made this shape so large, it's actually um, become straight edges, and the more you do that, the closer to the straight you'll actually get. Um, so that's probably about good. So we're gonna hit the check mark, and now you can see the first half um, of our sunburst effect right there. So the next thing we need to do is drag this shape down to duplicate the layer and then we need to change the color of this so I'm just going to double click on that and then I have another color selected over here which is a lighter orange and I'm just going to um, pick that right there with the little picker click OK and now you can see that one on top and what we're going to do is zoom out a little bit more so that we can see the uh, points on here and then we're going to hold shift and then grab the corner and rotate it and you can see it locks it into place. Just you just move it a little bit, and it'll lock it into place. And you can click OK, or you can click the little check mark to secure that. Now, when I zoom in, we're going to zoom back in. Um, you might see that you have some right here, some of the background still showing through, and we don't want that. So we're just going to zoom out, and we're going to make sure we have both layers selected, and we're just going to continue to size it up. And the more you size it up, that will disappear. So we can zoom back in and you can see that you do not see that anymore on our document. So I'll zoom back out and now it's pretty much done. For some people it will be done. Um, you don't have to take it a step further but if you want to you can. Um, you can see that out here we have all of the shapes. Uh, if you actually select these, um, the shape is actually still out there. You can edit it if you want. Um, I just need to select one in order to do that. And you can see that you have both shapes if you wanted to edit them later. So it's it could get a little bit confusing if you wanted to uh, do something later with it. So in order to not make it confusing for some people, some people want it to stay like that because you can size it up as large as you want. If I made this document larger, 
size this up some more. It would work perfectly in a larger document um, without any trouble, but some people want to reduce their file size or just have it not look as chaotic. So in order to do that, we're going to rasterize each of these layers by right clicking on them and going to rasterize layer. So now what that's going to do is allow us to actually edit this and for each of these layers I'm just going to scroll over the entire document with the selection tool, right click and go to layer via cut. And then this part that looks um, like there's nothing there, we're just going to delete that and then we're going to do the same thing for our other one. And we're just going to do layer via cut and delete it. So what that's done is, I'm just going to zoom in, you can see that now the document is straight to the um, basically the parameters of the document and you don't have any excess outside of there. Um, if you wanted to still change the colors on this um, you can do that by going to this little FX button down here and it's off screen but um, you go to color overlay and then you can change it to whatever you want. So if you want to change the colors up you can pick something else and change it to that. So it works about the same way, um, but it might reduce the file size and it might be a little bit more manageable for you later on uh, instead of having all the shapes around. So uh, it's just two different options depending on what you prefer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something about creating a sunburst effect. Um, subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.